Good morning. Here we are with a great resource from teacher J.C. Haroldson, and she's using the Smart Pen. What are you using this for today? Um, we're using it for comprehension, so using for a Venn diagram, and we've used the Venn diagram in a worksheet. We're using for um, after we read a story, and especially if it's a story that maybe like for this one, it was in the Cookie House, and then we also read Hansel and Gretel because they were corresponding. And one of the worksheets for in the cookie house was a Venn diagram. Okay. So instead of using the Venn diagram on the paper, we just made one on the smart um, pen paper. All right, can you demonstrate that, how a student yeah. would do it then? So what I did is I just made the circles. Okay. And then wrote the words. And then what they would do would be, they would make a mark and they would hit record, make a mark. And this would be something that's similar. So they would say, um, boy and girl in the woods the father so then those were different parts saying the um, things that were similar okay and something that was different would be for Hansel and Gretel the old the old lady right? okay. can you play those back ones I'm just curious yeah. how that sounds then Okay, so those are the audio recordings you just did. Yep. The father. Okay, that's and this one is the the difference that what only the Hansel difference. and Gretel has. Yep. The old, the old lady. Okay, so for some students that might have a trouble with the traditional Venn diagram of writing, they might not write much or they don't like their handwriting. Yep. This is you're finding good for students that can verbalize yeah. well. I think it works really well because otherwise the students weren't telling as many details. Okay. Because with the traditional Venn diagram. Um, but now all they have to do is make a mark and say, say things so some, they are expanding more. Okay. And otherwise, sometimes students have problems with writing, so then they write less or we can't read it or it gets all over the place and we have to use a couple different Venn diagrams so we can have it all in one place. Great. And then do you find that do they write stories after they do this on their own or you can do a combination of you doing it, them doing it kind of a thing? Sometimes for some students we just use as a more verbal comprehension okay. what I did for this story, but for some students we use it as just in the story and then taking what we wrote and then maybe make a web okay. also in here, which I've done with some other students further back in here. Very cool. And then we just take those ideas, they take the pen, maybe put the headphones in it, mm -hmm. and they type it out. Very cool. So it's kind of a part of the writing process. It's yes. almost like a rough draft. Mm -hmm. Instead of using pencil, they use audio, and then they can yep. take the audio and make it into a yep. final draft. Yeah, we've used it for the writing process like that, or if you just strictly comprehension. Very cool. So you find the kids liking this? Yes. Okay. I love it. And it's so easy to do. I was able, for this, I was able to just uh, make circles quick and get started. Or sometimes the kids can just start doing it on their own and it's really easy. It's, nice. Increase, they love it. So. Increase their independence a little bit, huh? Yes. Less, less yes. adult making them do things. Mm -hmm. Well, very cool. Thank you so much for sharing. All right. Thanks.